WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour here at the noontime TFNN market update. The Dow is unchanged at 25,820, was down over 70 points, actually hit the 25,720 level. And that's really important to me because in this particular technique that I'm showing here called the Chapman Wave Roman Candle, if there is with it, by tomorrow, you have about two days, if there is a trade and it holds in the, for about two hours halfway into the wick at this bottom here, underneath 25,810, there's a real good chance it's going to go quickly down to 25,611. Uh, so we'll be watching that. Meantime, the resistance is in the 20, 25,890s. And if uh, later today it starts to decline going into the 3 p.m. area, just be careful that we don't close at the low of the day. Uh, the S&P right now is also uh, kind of mixed. It's a, I think it's a little bit up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yep, it's down. S&P right now is down minus 1.03 at 2791. It too. But this is a little different. The Dow did not make a new recovery uh, high yesterday. The S&P did with the Qs, 2816.88. All I can say is that if there is a, a two-hour trade, at about 27.81 on the S&P, there's a real good chance we're going down to test yesterday's low. The QQQ, same thing, made a new high yesterday, and uh, in the it's up 28 cents is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the Invesco QQQ Trust Series at 174.70, up 28 cents. Let's see if the IWM is, oh, I keep tapping the wrong place. That's okay. IWM 156.66, holding the 14-period moving average. It's actually a lot weaker. It made its high back on the 25th of February at 159.50. Uh, if it starts to trade in the 154.80 area in the next two days, that's a problem. Let's look at gold. Gold is trying to rally a little bit. It's down three. It's right on the 200-period exponential moving average in the daily chart at 12.84. This is the area where I'm expecting there should be a bounce pretty soon, but only a bounce. I don't think it's going to get out of its way uh, very quickly from this downtrend uh, move. The dollar at this particular point is down. Oh, it's up 31 cents. Excellent action. We still like the dollar for my opening call subscribers. There it is up against this trend line resistance called the Chapman Wave inside wedge resistance and target line. So it says that if the dollar keeps moving like this by the 13th of March, it should be hitting the high of 74.50. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes for my show. Have a great